Hey guys, Josh here. In this video we're going to talk about some of the upcoming uh, features and functionality that's going to be available using the macro builder of the DS4 Windows tool. We're going to start off the purpose of this video, uh, we're going to demonstrate how you can manipulate the light bar using macros. So a lot of people have had complaints about how bright their light bar is and how it can reflect off the screen. You can see it there a little bit and I'm in bright uh, I'm in a brightly lit room, so. But uh, the effect is even more pronounced uh, dark games at night. So what we're going to do is we're going to show how we can still use the functionality that the light bar offers by displaying the battery level, but keep it so it's not disturbing uh, during games. And we're going to do that using the macros. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to design it so the light is normally off. Um, but then turns on to show the battery level when we tilt the controller up. Uh, so when we're actually in normal gaming position, it's going to be off. But if we decide to glance at it to look at the battery level, we can flick it up like this, and it'll turn on to show us the battery level. So we're going to start off by going ahead and going into our macro builder screen and creating a new macro. And we're going to call this one check battery. Alright, what we're going to do down here is we're going to go to our built-in functions tab. And for, since we're going to, assuming that you're not plugged in via USB, uh, we're going to use discharge mode. Um, if you are using this via USB, you're probably going to either, you're probably going to want to set both the charging and the charged modes. Uh, but since we're in Bluetooth, um, it's always going to be discharging for us. We're going to set the rainbow state to switch to battery. Hit OK to insert that. Our discharge color A, which is going to be our fully charged color, is going to be green. Discharge color B, which is our dead color, is going to be red. And like before, we're going to insert a wait for macro release. Uh, since we don't want to spam that, we want it to do those and then wait until the macro is released. In this case, that means when the controller goes back into normal playing position. And then we're going to say discharge mode and we're going to set the color to off. And that'll turn it back off afterwards. So we save that controller, close out of this. Alright, now we're going to create a new profile or use an existing profile that, that, uh, to add this to. I'm just going to call it test for just for our purposes here. Okay, now in the light bar properties of the profile, we're going to make sure it's set to off for all of these. Unless you want to make it different for charged or charging. And in the macros over here, for our trigger, we're going to select Tilted Up, which is currently the last option in the list here. And then we're going to make sure we select Check Battery as our, la as our macro. Go ahead and save the profile. Go to Controller, make sure the test profile is assigned. And you will see that the light bar shut off as soon as I assigned it. Now, if we want to check the level, you gotta do is tilt it up. And there it is. Shuts on and off all by itself. 